the alter ego, which is what kind of your claim to fame is. Can you tell us a little bit about what is the alter ego? How is it a tool that someone uses to go from stuck to unstuck? When and where would someone use it? What is the alter ego? Cicero, the great Roman statesman and philosopher, was the person who actually coined the term back in 44 BC, which meant the other trusted friend within. The best of the best were very careful with who they used as models of inspiration for how they wanted to become or what they wanted to evolve into. Having a vision and a model of something that you're inspired by is one of the most human things that you can have. The problem is most people don't have a very clear vision of what that looks like. And so that's where the alter ego steps in because we're all inspired by something, someone. We like the way that they show up, their characteristics. We like their attributes, their qualities, their traits. The alter egos are simply a beautifully formed mental model that you're using to hold in your head of something that you're trying to move toward. I used it when I played football. Geronimo was my alter ego, a composite of seven different heroes of mine. Even though the name on my back of my jersey said Herman, you were actually competing against myself and these seven others. I built Geronimo because the insecurity that I was caught up in was, yeah, I was about 5'11 at the time, but I was 159 pounds soaking wet. And in football, kind of helps to have some size. And so carrying that insecurity out onto the football field would then cause me to not show up like I could. Maybe I would be shying away from the bigger player or not things that are gonna help me be successful out there. But Geronimo never had those thoughts. I knew that you were seeing me as 159 pounds, skinny kid with shoulder pads that looked like they were gonna fly off of them. But that's not who you were playing against. You were playing against something completely different. And it took my performance to a completely new level. And then when I started my business, I was very insecure about how young I looked. I didn't have a bunch of college degrees and letters behind my name. I didn't have three best-selling books. Who's gonna believe me when I stand on stage and talk about the mental game or peak performance or whatever? So I built out another alter ego this time and it was Super Richard because it, I was stopping myself from going out and promoting this business. So Super Richard was built to do my sales calls, to reach out to people to try to book gigs. When I started working with higher quality athletes, this golden thread started to reveal itself that the best of the best would use some sort of performance identity. They would talk about their secret identity, their alter ego, their persona that they had that I became known for was the alter ego guy. And then I started to understand why my athletes getting results so much faster than everyone else is because I was going to the source code of where performance comes from, which is your identity. How you associate and see yourself. When you change how someone sees themselves, all the governors, all of the ceilings that are above them, they get lifted because you're now acting through something different. I was watching the Kanye documentary on Netflix a few weeks ago where Kanye, he was a producer. Everyone was trying to block him into just being the producer. And he's like, I want to be known as a rapper. And everyone was trying to force him into that corner. And he's like, no, I'm the rapper. One day people will know me by my first name. And of course that's happened, right? I'm not a big Kanye fan, but I'm certainly a fan of his mindset and the strength of his identity. Well, another story that you can add to that is Frank Lloyd Wright, widely regarded by many as one of the greatest architects to ever live. No formal training, never went to school for it. Funny thing about him was at the age of five, his mother started telling him that he was born of God. His mother helped build up a God complex with him. He had no governors on his mind as to what he could or couldn't do because when you're acting through the idea that you are God, you can literally make anything happen, the parts of the creativity and the creative imagination start to explode out. But most people are living underneath governors of labels that they've placed on themselves. And so that's where the alter ego steps in because when you're acting through the idea, you can literally make anything happen.